In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a flipbook in Blender from several such pictures and create a running action like a movie. We'll use a Python script and we'll talk about an add-on called Flipbook Generator. So once you open Blender, delete this default cube and create a new collection in the outliner. Then select this collection so that it is highlighted. Now we have to go to the file menu and under the import group, select this images as planes. But if you can't see this option, just open preferences from the edit menu. And in the add-ons tab, you have to search here for images. Then enable this import add-on using this checkbox. Now the menu options will be visible, so under import, select images as planes. Then we have to go to the location where we have kept our images, we'll use these pictures for the flipbook. So you can press A on your keyboard to select all the files here. And in the material type, let's select the emit option. This emit option gives us an accurate color, but the shadows won't be good, whereas the principled option gives us a good shadow, but the colors will be faded, you'll need some adjustments to the color, so choose whichever option is best for you. Going forward, we'll disable the option of backface, and we also don't need this alpha option or transparency. Then we need to set the offset plane along the z-axis, and the offset value can be 0.001, although this is not very important for us. But we need to follow a calculation for this height value. Just take the aspect ratio of your picture and multiply its reciprocal by 2. This aspect ratio is usually 1.78 for HD pictures. So for this height value, we'll use 2 divided by 1.78, which is our aspect ratio. And for the alignment, we'll select the positive z-axis and import them as a group into our scene. Blender will place them here just like a stack of papers. And as they are selected together, press G to grab and move them by one unit in the X direction so that the left edge of the stack is perfectly aligned with the Y axis. We can see that the pages are created under this new collection called Collection 2 and we can go to the rendered view mode and verify that the pictures are correctly applied to the pages with a bright color. In the next step, we need to flip these pages quickly by animating some properties. For this action, we'll use a technique that we have discussed in our earlier tutorial on flipping pages, this tutorial link is given below. But doing this by hand for so many pages can take a lot of time, so we'll automate this part by using a Python script. Let's open the text editor from here. Now, we need to select the first page from the collection of pages so that it is highlighted. Then click on this new button, and this is where we have to paste the Python script. This script is free for all, you can download it from the link given below, and you can customize some of its parameters, and then execute it from here. It can take some time to finish, and since we don't need this text editor anymore, let's again switch back to the timeline editor. We can now run the animation, and verify that the pages flip one after another, you need to only set up your camera angle as appropriate. You'll also notice that a new object is created called controller, which is basically an empty, and you can control the angle of the flipbook and its position using this empty alone. The sole purpose of this controller is to help you set up your camera, you can position the flipbook directly facing your camera. Let's go to the rendered view and verify the animation while it runs. It may look slow because we are in the viewport, when you render the animation, it'll run fast just like a flipbook and you can customize the speed factor as you need. But there are some issues that we need to solve. As you see for any page, the front side has got the picture that we have imported, but the same picture is also visible on the back side. This looks odd, because the back side should be a blank page, the picture should display only on the front side. So we need to go to the shader editor to rectify this issue. The page material has got an image texture, which is connected to a principal BSDF. We need to add few more nodes into this node tree, in order to make two such BSDF nodes, with a mixed shader and the back-facing output from the input geometry will control this mix factor, and that will then go to the final output. Once this is done, we will get the imported picture on the front side of our page, but the back side will have a blank shader, and we need to do this for each page, to make it more realistic. But it can be a tedious task if there are many pages in our flipbook, and then the camera setup and the camera angle is also important, the camera should capture this part of each page while it is flipping. You can either do it manually, or if you are a member of this channel, you can use our full script which is available for our members. It has got a few more fields to customize the output, and it will take care of the page materials, automated camera angles and the complete animation. The workflow is also going to be quite simple if we use this full script, 
So let's start with a new file like before, and we'll delete our default cube. We need to then add a plane, and the dimensions of this plane should follow the aspect ratio of the flipbook pictures. So we'll change the Y scale factor, it should be 1 divided by 1.78. But we won't make any change to the X scale factor. The width of the plane should remain as it is, we should only change its height, as per the aspect ratio, otherwise the script won't work. Now we need to move it toward right, by say one unit, so that the left edge perfectly coincides with the Y axis. Once we are ready, we can run our full script. So let's open the text editor from here, and then click on the new button. We have shared this full script with all our existing members, and it has got a few more fields that can be customized, so you can very well use these fields for manipulating the speed and some other factors. You need to mention here the number of pages that are present in your flipbook, for example in our case, this number will be 60. Then here, we need to mention the location of the flipbook pictures. Another important thing is, the pictures must be named in a sequential manner, starting with 1, so it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, and in that sequence. And the file type should be either JPG or PNG. So we need to mention that folder name here, everything within a quote, but don't delete this R, which is at the beginning of this field. You need to also mention the location of your HDRI file here. We are sharing this HDRI along with the script, just in case you don't have it, so let's run the script from here. Once it is complete, we can change it back to the timeline editor to play our animation. You'll notice that a new collection is created in the outliner, called page collection, it contains all the pages and all other objects that we need for the flipping animation. And like before, we have a controller object, we can easily change the angle or the orientation of the flipbook by using this controller. But you won't need to change this because everything is now automated, they are perfectly placed by the script, so we can start playing this animation right away. We are in the camera view mode, and you can see how the camera is automatically placed at the right angle to capture the flipbook, but you can change it further if needed. So this is how it will look like after rendering, however, it will run much more faster than this. If you don't have our membership, you can still use our free script and manually place your camera in this angle. We have taken it forward one more step further and created an add-on with this script. This add-on is called Flipbook Generator. It's available on our online stores and the links are given below. It's much easier to run than the script. You can customize the page size or the FPS and other parameters, then select your picture or the page background here, and then just run the generator. It can be very helpful, and please remember that you can get a good result like this, only if you render your animation using cycles. We have prepared a tutorial on how to render in cycles as fast as EV, the tutorial will be published next week. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.